BQ phone. Very nice phone. BQ 4.5. I made a video about this phone uh, a while ago already. Because, in fact, I got it. And then it was still on, I think, Ubuntu 14 or so. And there was, there was anything you could do with it. Just for browsing the internet a bit. Nothing was working. App Store was not working, etc. And then I updated it to 16. But there is a new update available for this beautiful device. So, um, in fact, I, I, I want to update it. And we're going to update it in this video. But we as well going to brick it in this video. Yep. <laughs> I... Uh, I was doing some update, I updated the phone uh, by just going to the OTA update and downloaded some updates, I updated the phone and then uh, I as well got the UB ports installer because I saw that the update was not uh, meeting the latest security patches that are available and the latest OS that is available for this, this phone. So I got UB ports installed on my Linux computer. This you can as well do on a Mac and even on a Windows computer. So go ahead, install the UB ports installer. You will need some drivers, etc. Find out how to do that because you will need UB ports to restore the device back. So in this video, you're going to see the brick and I'm going to tell you about the fix and how I got it completely back. Uh, yeah, but now updated. Uh, up to today uh, very latest freshest uh, update for this phone still a very nice phone so let's go ahead and brick and then unbrick it again today we are here with my ubuntu phone and i just found out that we have an update of ubuntu touch and it's for the bq e 4.5 the krillin and yeah uh in fact it was very easy uh as you know i'm using linux and uh i installed well i'm using gnu linux and this is one of my latest distros that i created in fact and hey my mouse is not working something wrong is happening here Okay, there's my mouse, there it's back. And in fact, the only thing that you uh, have to do is uh, install um, UB, UB ports. And as you can see, I, I'm having a installing that is being performed there. It's 1604 stable, all right? So yeah, in fact, we can just hit the install and uh, I'm just gonna hit okay. So it's just gonna install. And it's rebooting, fast boot mode, it's saying on the phone, and transition OK, it's waiting for the device to enter into a recovery mode, and we're having a little install going on there not sure what that was but we're rebooting and we're going into a recovery mode it's checking the ubuntu touch files so it's really cool to have ub ports as well supported uh, in linux but of course it should be because it's a linux application uh, i did this before in windows and it literally literally took hours to bring this phone from the OS that it was on. I think it was uh, Ubuntu 14 to 16. And really, it was a headache. It was really a headache. It took very, very long. I just went to bed and, and, and you know, I just let the thing update. And next morning when I stood up, the phone was waiting for me and not the other way it's flashing recovery and boot images at this point and uh, you must make sure that your phone uh, that you set up the developers options that you turn it on in the phone mine was already turned on because of the previous install and 
at this point is just flashing recovery and boot images and we'll have to see uh, connection to device lost oh god try again UB port starting up mm. so yeah I think the phone is as well uh, standing in the screen for a very long time please connect the UB ok let's connect it UB is connected it's connected with USB cable ok we have a problem there so let's see how to, to fix that I think volume down and the power keep pressing, 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 keep pressing. And that should turn off the phone. Yes. And now we're gonna turn it on. See what happens. Because in fact it was also installing something and Just break the blood clad phone. Let's turn it off again. And then it turns on and then it stuck in the screen. In effect. I break my phone. I break the phone. What shall I do? How, how are we gonna fix this? You know what? I'm gonna try some things and if I come to a better solution then I'm gonna come back. If not, probably this video will not be posted. hangs in that screen you're gonna press uh, the volume up yeah and the power until the screen goes black that's what you see now and then it's gonna reboot and then it's gonna bring you in this mode with the volume up you can go to normal fast boot recovery you see that this is fast boot mode this is normal mode and this is recovery mode Okay, though. So, in fact, you will have to put it into a fast boot mode when it ask when it asks you to go into a bootloader. Okay, and then you just hit volume down to go into a fast boot, and simply confirm by pressing volume down, and then the system will contact the PC. It will then reboot and go in yeah into a boot up screen where you will see no activity at all okay you see it's saying put the phone into a bootloader mode but we just did that already so now it's detecting the phone you see that it's detecting the phone and uh well in fact it's 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 done it pushed all the files. No, it's, it still it still needs to push some files to the phone. So we're just going to leave it like that. And just let it go. Don't do anything. I'm just still a little bit insecure there, not knowing what is happening. But in fact, 
the process is already started and you can see that it's installing we did not come this far before all right and uh, in fact it pushed 13 files uh, to the phone and uh, yeah now the phone is restoring with the very latest uh, yeah ubuntu touch version available for this device the bq 4.5 the karen so that's great guys uh, i think uh, we have success and uh, if we take a look at the computer we can also say thank you very much because everything went successful okay the phone rebooted and there we go we're starting up bq bbbq mm -mm 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 -mm. don't you hang in the white screen huh boot up boot up boot up yes oh hello <laughs> look at that ubuntu touch i love ubuntu really i do What you see there at the back is as well Ubuntu. It's my latest distro. Look at that man. Wow. That's Resurrection OS. So let's see. Oh, it remembered my password. So I did not lose anything. And this is it. This is the latest of the latest of the greatest. Oh, very stable. Whoa, look at that. What a difference. Web SDR. Let me see if this is working. You can see that it works. So, how to quit the application again? I think it was like this. program tune in radio let's go to the settings the settings looked really bad in the previous version and i think it still looks bad look at that i can't I, you, you can hardly read what what it's saying so the settings part guys work on it because it looks not good about i can't even read what it's saying can you read it they use purple and purple for for the for the text or purple and 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 pink i don't know who did that okay so we have the latest update uh last updated uh singer the 20th of august 2019 you can hardly read it i have no idea why this looks like this but the settings part looks looks like crap really maybe you can set that up i probably i'm just unknown but this part looks looks bad oh, <laughs> i'm looking for the back button <laughs> there is no back button in this thing the only thing that you can do is swipe it away like that yeah so this is how to uh fix your ubuntu phone if it goes wrong okay well that was it i'm very happy to see that this phone is back i didn't feel good when you know we came to the point that i was thinking like hey oh crap you know because they are, they were talking about volume down and power up but volume down let me see this is this is volume down you see but the volume down it's not doing anything it's about volume up so it was very smart of me to you know just think let me try volume up long press and see what happens and then you know we came into that screen where we could select to you know go into the bootloader or into the recovery mode and you know fix the phone 
I'm very happy that the phone is fixed again. I will keep following this project. This phone is not going anywhere. And I'm very happy with this phone to have this phone. I remember when it came out and Ubuntu announced that they would, you know, bring their own phone. You know, I really wanted to have this phone. So I will keep it and uh, thanks to the UbiPorts community and all those that are, you know, working on firmware for all these devices uh, you can check out link in my description and up there you're gonna find even more devices such as uh, the nexus 7 the nexus 5 the nexus 7 flow by the way uh, from 2013 and the bigger brother the dep uh, those you can as well install uh, ubuntu onto so i think yeah I think these, these devices, they're on old Android and they're not being updated to the latest Android. And nothing cooler than having a Linux-based tablet in front of you uh, to play with. I think that's really cool, right? So I want to thank you once again for watching. If you think this information was useful, leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then I see you in the next video again.